All right, well, um, my voice is getting a little better. Uh, I'd say about after this weekend, I should be 100%. Uh, I did a couple songs. I might post them, so uh, just, you know, bear with me on that. Um, may just post one just for fun. But uh, something resonated, I guess, and people sent me some emails just asking me some general questions, but some sent me questions based on problems so just for the sake of everyone because it took me a long time to figure out what what to read and how to read it and whatever i i just decided that you i'm not going to mention what gender what planet what what age their name anything these are going to be handled in the most private of fashion so um, I wanted to get to like the I, I want to get to the heavy stuff. There's two heavy questions that I really just just can't go without answering. I'm sorry if if they might be a be a little touchy, but uh, I promise you that you know I'm going to change. I change things enough to where it, it's not going to be too noticeable. But uh, the first couple of questions are just very simple. Um, uh, question number one I got was. Um, did I draw my OC? And no, I did not draw my OC. My uh, my OC was was sketched out by a, a friend of mine that I helped with uh, with a problem, and uh, he wanted to repay me by uh, giving me a, a he's he's going to give it the full treatment like a real animation style treatment to where if you animated it you would have the actual layout there you know, and um, like I said, uh, he, he, he's a real cool dude, uh, and uh, I thank him immensely for for his support and for for being a fan of mine. So, thank you very much. Um, uh, my second question was, uh, what, uh, who, who did I identify with in the My Little Pony universe? Like, what character? Uh, and it wasn't anything like the main six. Uh, although I did take a test on the MLP forums, I, I'm Mars Moon. I'm Mars Moon Dancer on MLP fo- forums. If you're on that website, please go ahead and friend me uh, if you know my channel and stuff. But uh, basically, it's, it says I'm more like Rainbow Dash, which I was very shocked. But nah, I can see the difference, you know. I'm or not the difference, but I can see the similarities. Um, but. Uh, I would have to say uh, Sweetie Belle, if I was to be specific, because the the writers who wrote that must have been either the older or the younger sibling, or maybe uh, both, maybe they were the middle child, so maybe they had a taste of both worlds, but uh, it was just because I was always the youngest sibling, and uh, those fights were accurate to a sibling fight, even the one where, you know, you know, I have said to my brother before, maybe I'd be better off without a brother. And we've had similar fights like that. So when I watch those episodes, it really hits close to home. Uh, so it really, really does, uh, it really does hurt me. So, uh, yeah, that, but that, that's who I would I identify with the most, Sweetie Belle. The way, uh, also with the way she did manipulate, uh, Rarity, like basically what Rarity basically taught her she uh she used against her which is what i did with my brother and it brings back a lot of great pain painful but very good memories another question was very was very shocking to me for some reason but it was it was was, it's valid and uh it, it said are you really not mad at side music and because they pointed out how much of a they they said he you know they said uh, they as in this was a weird name so I wasn't sure how to interpret it but said something about how the comment was very harsh how how did you even see past that without being too offended and it simple it, it's because of Dr. Wolf to be honest Dr. Wolf really uh, helped me see things in different perspectives like take a, a comment like that and, and plus it wasn't just that it was the fact that more that he didn't just go on there and call me a hypocrite and leave. He made a point, and the point was very valid. It wasn't a half-baked thing like I did. It was actually a very valid thing, and I explained it before. Go check out the video if you haven't. It's where it's my New Year's reflection, but um, sorry I keep doing that. I got to stop that stuff. 
But, yeah, it was more of the fact that uh, he uh, he really did sincerely teach me um, that I was doing it the wrong way, that I approached it wrong. I mean, true, he did say, say do, uh, handle it in a angry position, but, uh, you know, I can't be mad at you. It's like my rule on jokes. If I laugh, I can't be offended at the joke. Basically... He was harsh, but he was so right, I couldn't be offended. I had to reevaluate the way I thought. So it's called personal growth. It's not, I'm not, I wasn't doing it to appease him or anyone. I really, truly took a look back at what I did. I reevaluated it and said, you know what? He's right. He's right. I need to really discuss this topic uh, deeper, which leads to the next question I got was, you know, I did get a couple of emails, which I was surprised, you know, uh, you know, on this, uh, on my YouTube page, but, um, the other one basically said, am I going to discuss bullying further? And yeah, the, 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 the answer is a big emphatic. Yes. I'm going to talk about it in a series of things. Like it's one, it's a topic it, that, you know, you can't really just do one episode about It's something you're going to have to do. Like until I die, probably I'll be talking about bullies in their form, shapes, and sizes, and how to maybe deal with them, I don't know, or if we can deal with them, if there is a way around it, but, you know, uh, I don't know, anyways, uh, now here comes two heavy questions, and these are pretty heavy, so I'm going to get to them right now, and, and, and hopefully my insight and ability to read them uh, that when I read them, you know, explore them thoroughly. And the first one was about uh, a kid who lives in like a town like I do, where it's really conservative and has a father who has actually um, not physically, but verbally assaulted him for being a brony. And, you know, has called him some names. And... It seems like your the mother of the situation is uh, not. Uh, by the way, I, I have to praise these people for coming forward with me and not being afraid of me. Uh, you know, I did ask their permission if I can talk about this. So you know, uh, me personally, I give them great credit for coming to me with such heavy problems so I can discuss them. But uh, basically, his his father verbally abuses him about it and his his brother doesn't help and his uh, I should say a younger brother doesn't help and his uh, uh, mother is uh, kind of just doing nothing and he feels like he has n no n nowhere to turn unfortunately there's not too much I can say about that other than you're I, I, I'm, I, I appreciate you coming to me for, for this response, but or coming to me for some advice or for some way to guide you, but uh, I would probably have to, one, talk to you a little bit and see if I can talk you through some problems you're facing. Uh, the other things I can offer is, uh, you know, talk to your mother because your mother seems to be the one that seems more inclined to not try to be involved. So maybe that's her way of not knowing how to deal with the situation. Maybe you should go and speak with her and you know, if, if your father ever escalates to physical abuse, I would uh, think about telling him to stop it because even though you may be a, you know, if you're a kid or an adult, doesn't matter which what, if someone assaults you, you have legal right to tell them to stop or you will call the police and have a restraining order put on them or something. And then maybe see if you can get his attention that way if it ever came to that point. I don't know. That's just a, To me, it's just silly that someone would verbally or physically abuse you over something as stupid as liking a, a, a show that's targeted towards little girls but really it's just a show about you know six pony girls that you know shoot rainbow death beams that turn you into stone or or destroy you which to me that's like power rangers stuff that's awesome that to me that's pretty masculine right there for a feminine show that's pretty masculine <laughs> 
and pretty cool. Rainbow Death Beams. Like, that's just awesome. That should be a band. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start a band called Rainbow Death Beams. But, seriously, I would try doing that. Or maybe if your younger brother is, is open for reason, maybe... Maybe see if he if he would watch a show with you once, and uh, if he had an open mind, because he's your younger brother, he probably. Uh, if if I know younger brothers, and my when I was young, and my older brother said you should really watch this, I watched it with him because I looked up to him. So maybe he, he can do that for you, you know, and uh, you know, watch one episode, and who knows, he might like it. Maybe see if your mom wants to see it. I showed my mom the episode, and she never confessed to saying she's a brony, but. The only thing she can always say, or she always says on that show, when that show's on, is, "Man, that that color's so beautiful." And she says it like she's like out of it, like she's like yo, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, just kind of woo. And I think that's really cool that the colors uh, really do work that that well. But yeah, that that, that would be my advice. I, I'm sorry I can't offer any more. I guess if it gets too bad, alert the authorities and and just try to get away with them. If you can't talk your way out of it, I guess I I don't really know. Maybe seek therapy. Maybe seek a family council or go to your teacher and see if he can help set up a family meeting for you guys at the school with a counselor or something. That might help too. And, you know, come to terms with the fact that there are no gender stereotypes anymore. You know, that you're, you're part of this movement that is kind of breaking that taboo. So, uh, just, just be strong. Just be strong is my other advice. Be strong as, as, as strong as you can. Let the ponies help you. If, you've, if life gets you down, pop on the ponies or watch a, your favorite Bronios uh, brony YouTube thing, you know, hopefully it's my, my stuff, so watch my stuff and then feel happy, try to do something that gets you through the day until finally you're able to either get away and, and do your own thing or, or, you know, get your parents to understand, I guess, and then the final question I'm going to answer, well, I guess, advice, I guess I'll give is a pretty heavy question, um, it has to do with uh, a problem at home, domestic uh, abuse. I'll put it that way very lightly. It's domestic abuse. And it happens between the, the, the person and the, the, the well, the, the father, but the mother doesn't do anything. And expresses that they don't do anything you know that they that they don't want to uh, to them I wanted to address because I've dealt with friends that have had this problem like not best friends but friends I've had in the past and you're you already are an example of what it is to be a strong individual I will give you that I am. I'm here with you. I. I. I, I will. Uh, I will always Skype if you need me to. Um, uh, you, you seem very eager to talk to me, so uh, let we'll Skype soon and we'll we'll discuss this one on one, and I'll see if I can coach you through uh, your unfortunate feelings at the moment. Um. The most I can say is I am disgusted by what I've heard, or I should say read, and I am also infuriated at the same time about the handling of it by the mother. And all I can say is I don't know what else I can really say other than you might need to to alert someone uh, child services uh, I, I don't know I don't really know who to alert in this situation I would assume the authorities but I would definitely try to make a strive to to, to, to do something like that I, I or or if if you guys are a close-knit family I, I don't know you know 
how close of a family you are and, and all that. And I know this is, uh, you know, I'm trying not to talk about it too much, but because it's starting to really infuriate me and uh, hang on. Ow. Getting worse. I am so sorry. Oh. That one really hurt really bad. Uh, what was I talking about? Shit. I'm sorry. Um. <sighs> oh, yes, yes, your problem. Uh, you, uh, uh, I, uh, as far as the authorities are concerned when it comes to your inner pain if you play a musical instrument like the piano or uh, you know it, guitar uh, any instrument at all or if you sing or if you just write uh, might I suggest doing the one thing that has always brought artists a lot of pleasure in their life and that's uh uh um hang on there's a internet or an email all right sorry about that um sorry i'm so lost now anyways i would suggest for your inner pain um right at this moment to start expressing it through your art uh, paint, draw, uh, whatever you're you're good at, whatever you do to express yourself, pour your heart, your pain, and your soul into that, because you have to get it out. And if you're not crying, I would suggest crying too, because crying has helped me a lot. It has helped me through my grieving, and crying is very healthy. Cry every day if you have to. Don't bottle up your feelings. That's one thing I can definitely tell you is not healthy. And, and you should, uh, like I said, you should Skype me if you want to talk more in depth. And I will, I will always listen. So I got to cut this short because I did not expect this to happen. But I did get hit with some light earlier when I went to the bathroom. And it took a minute for it to really resonate and hurt, which it's starting to do worse and worse and worse every day. Now, my voice is getting better, and I wanted to announce that once it's better, I'm going to be doing glass of water uh, as Discord. So wish me luck on that one, you know, uh, fingers crossed. I hope what I said was helpful and inspirational and helped you guys out. And I look forward to hearing more comments soon. And if you want... Um, be feel free to Skype me at uh, King Mars X, uh, all lower capes with a capital thirty two, and uh, until next time, have a happy happy day if you can, and if not, I hope it is, it's at least not as bad as mine is today. <laughs> Peace out from King Mars.